case number 100. This is Dr. Chris Gonzalez, Deputy Director of the Paranormal Investigation Bureau. Today is July 2nd, 2022, with the time at 6.35 p.m. Eastern Standard. State your names and fields for the record. Dr. Jax Morales, Head Researcher of Anomalous Space for the Paranormal Investigations Bureau. I command a joint research team based in liminal space with Commander Rhodes. Alexandra Rhodes, leader of the Almansi Colony and commander of the PIB's joint research team with Dr. Morels. Your teams recently uncovered the location of the Unholy Choir, correct? It's been several months since the incident with the late Deputy Director Smith, but after everything, we've managed to isolate their location with Agent Fergo's help. Speaking of which, is that New Ham permanent? Well, yes, it is. I think it looks good. Reminds me of that one pirate movie. Right. Anyways, location in question is exactly what Agent Virgo described. A large cathedral in the middle of the wheat field. It was just east of the route to the Golden City. How did we miss that? We never looked. Fair enough. Continue. We sent two of our best reconnaissance agents inside the cathedral once we heard music. Lacrimosa, to be precise. A distorted, eerie version of Lacrimosa. Once they were inside, they gave their report. Go on. There were killers up and down the cathedral, singing in perfect unison as he approached the altar with two civilians. One of them was a white male, late 20s, and he was the first. The chorister, a white male in his early 50s wearing a black robe with red accents, touched a civilian's forehead and recited some sort of ritual. Two seconds after, the civilian started screaming and seizing violently before, uh, before the transformation began. I'm sorry, I can't read this. It's okay, Alex. Dr. Morales? The civilian's arms began to extend outwards as if some force pulled them apart by the joints, creating the unnaturally long arms we see in other carolers. What happened to his head is... far too graphic to describe on tape. Afterwards, his screams were drowned out by the choir before becoming a part of it. We don't know who they are, do we? The civilians. No, Chris. How do we proceed with this? The Blood Witch's war with Earth has been going on for months, and we've made no headway. What's going on with that anyway? I'm a little out of the loop. As of right now, there have been thousands of skin stealer sightings followed by hundreds of attacks each month. The attacks on our forces have been randomized at best. Offices, research centers, but nothing of value yet. Civilian attacks, as you can guess, are also at random. Rural, suburban, urban. But one thing in common is that they're all isolated. Compared to the carolers, they have more of a presence. It's as if they were driven underground. The Blood Witch has been one step ahead of us since this began. The curfews, the increased patrols, and those PSAs we've been churning out should be helping the police. But those things are faster and stronger than we can handle. Sounds like you got your hands full. I'm sorry I couldn't be more helpful. Ever since the Bureau made me a member, I've been hyper-focused on making the colony a safe haven for travelers. We're still getting newcomers to liminal space every week. Are the supplies going to run out soon? At this rate, we may need to allocate some resources if we keep getting newcomers to Almansi. Construction materials, food, anything we can spare. <sighs> we'll circle back to that another day. As for the carolers, we have a fix on their location. For now, we watch and wait. What? We have a chance to finish the choir? We should take it. Jax is right. With everything being put into this war, we don't have the manpower to take down the carolers. Not right now. If we pull back some of our forces, we risk more than a few disappearing civilians. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Dismissed. <laughs>